Well, that would certainly be interesting if male leopards did form coalitions. Sadly, it is not the case. It would be very nice if they did. Quite a bit of a crime scene that we've spotted here. A whole bunch of vultures and marabou storks. A seriously big bunch of vultures, actually. So we're going to go and take a quick look, see what all the fuss is about. And who knows, maybe it was the cheetah that we're looking for that made this kill a little bit earlier. It's going to be tricky to tell, but at least we are in the area of some kind of predator, one would assume. Having said that, though, the animal may have died of natural causes. That does happen from time to time. Look at all these vultures. Crazy. All sorts dotted in there, leopard-faced, white-backed. I'm sure there's some Cape Griffin vultures as well. The marabou storks. And all of the birds, you can see well, a lot of them are holding their beaks open, panting like a very warm afternoon. That coupled together with the fact that they are full-bellied from whatever they've been nibbling on there means that they are all trying to keep cool. Thankfully, a cloud has just come over, though, so that should help them. Let's see if we can take a close look at what they're nibbling on there, Craig. The ones on the right seem to be squabbling. Ah, oh, it's a wildebeest. No surprises there. Oh, look at one's feeding straight into its mouth. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that was so cool, these ones coming, taking off towards us. Oh, now, if we'll get lucky, we'll see them start squabbling with one another. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> Well, we are in pole position here. Seems like the runway is towards us. They must be flying, taking off into the wind. That will assist their takeoff. Not that there's much of a breeze. And I would guess a lot of them would have eaten their full and are now heading off to somewhere to roost for the evening. What I found interesting is that the Mara vultures, when they are full-bellied, they lie down on the floor like chickens incubating an egg. And I've never seen that before, but I guess because it's so open here, they can afford to. One's kind of doing it there. Oh, look at that leopard face, showing itself, showing the other ones how big and strong it is. Oh, that was cool. And, oh, there's also a hooded vulture. So there's all three different types. You're just to the right of the leopard face there, Craig, if you just zoom in. There's one with a much smaller head, just to the right of the one with the big head on the left of your screen. So that's the smallest of the vultures next to the biggest. There's another hooded vulture with a pink head. That's popped in. Looks like a miniature leopard faced. And they all have their different role on finishing up the carcasses. The ones with the big beaks obviously do the bulk of the feeding. Opening up the things that are tricky. Let's go hard left here, Craig, quickly. Just want to see what's going on there. There's a piglet running for its life. Look at that! <laughs> now, I'm not sure why the piglet and its mother are heading off so quickly. So I'm just going to take a bit of a scan around. I mean, there's lots of Thompson's gazelle that seemed very relaxed in the area, so maybe it's just a nervous mother. I was expecting to see a cheetah tearing after them at one point. There was actually a Thompson's gazelle kind of running behind that piglet, and I thought it may have been a cheetah. Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little vulture restaurant extravaganza as much as i'm enjoying the flies this afternoon you also now have the joy of going to james who's found some other tiny creatures